Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good. So in this video, we will be doing a very quick project and this project will also help you get a revision of your DSA and uh, you know, basically it's a data structure algorithm project. It is known as a sorting algorithm visualizer. Okay. And uh, this project is actually quite famous and even I wanted to do it because everybody had done it. And, uh, you know, I wanted to add uh, some of my own flavor to it. So sorting algorithm visualizer. So all the sorting algorithms, you know, like bubble sort, uh, merge sort, quick sort, et cetera, et cetera. You can visualize those. What does it mean visualize? So basically you will have some objects that will be moving in a screen. It can be like rectangle bars of different lengths, which will be moving, uh, you know, you can visualize like that. So you can use your creativity over here. And uh, some of my friends who are really good at competitive programming and, uh, you know, they were not able to do a lot of uh, development. Such people did projects like this and they got uh, selected in very, very good companies. So, you know, if you don't have much time for doing development, then you can do some projects like this so that when in the interview, they'll ask about your project, they'll also ask about these concepts. So you can easily talk about merge, sort, selection, sort, all those things, right? So this project will be a, like a revision also, and you can finish it over a weekend. Okay, so this is just the part one. And in this part, I'll just be giving a demo, like, uh, you know, an intro, and I'll be explaining and giving some resources. Basically, here we are going to again uh, be using uh, Python Kinter. You can also make this project using JavaScript. But because many of you don't know and Python will be easy to learn, I did it in Kinter only. And JavaScript, like you can use even React. My friend did with React. Okay. Uh, you can do it with any visualizing this thing. In C++, if you want to do the same, you can do it, I think, with OpenGL. I think with OpenGL, it will be good. But again, C++, you know, installing and downloading packages itself will take some time. Python, you have to just do pip install kinter. So that is why I did that only. This will just be an intro demo video. I'll be explaining the idea and thought process. I expect you to do it, like first try to approach it. I'll give you like one day and tomorrow I'll upload the uh, video with all the explanation, but watch the entire video so that you will get an idea as to how to think about going, uh, you know, approaching the uh, project. So what basically we'll be doing is there should be a GUI. Okay. So there should be a graphical user interface, some window. Okay. In this window, some options should be there anywhere that is your creativity what options see for sorting oh, i mean for visualizing sorting you need an array right now our array will be in the form of rectangles rectangles like this like this okay there'll be rectangles of different sizes so we need to have a option to uh, you know get an input array so instead of coloring here, I'll write like this only. You need to have an option to get the array. You need to have an option to start. Start the algorithm. Okay. Also, you can have other things like you want to keep a lower limit, upper limit. That is, you want to keep a range in which you want to have values. For example, you want to have values only between 5 and 20. Also, you can keep like a slider a scale slider. So all these uh, that I'm talking about are Python widgets, uh, sorry, Kinter widgets. Okay. T Kinter widgets. And uh, this uh, entire project, I did it with the help of this Python, uh, this thing documentation, very easily. You can finish it in one, one and a half hour only. And all these widgets over here, see, basically there are different kinds of widgets. There are buttons. Okay. There are labels. There is a combo box. What is this combo box? Combo box can be used. For example, you have uh, like, you know, a selection tool. 
so you can select different sorting methods here which means that if a user clicks on uh, suppose this triangle you can see now if the user clicks on the triangle then there will be a list of options bubble sort merge sort quick sort like that you can add that widget over here and you can add something like a slider so you can add something like a slider and you can move this slider and values can range from lower limit to higher limit how many values should be there in between all that everything is your creativity just use i'll share with you see this uh, you know this documentation is there okay so making the gui is one half one half of the project is making the gui part adding you know the frame this is called a frame wherein all the options all the widgets will be embedded over here and there'll be another uh, portion which is known as the canvas in the canvas basically we'll be doing our drawing what drawing we'll be drawing our rectangles like this okay there will be some rectangles drawn and we need to do the visualization that is we need to how do we visualize here so visualization can be done with the help of colors it means that see for example if we are talking about bubble sort okay if we are talking about bubble sort i'll give an example what is bubble sort it will take two adjacent two adjacent values and it will compare okay so array of j for example is greater than array of j plus 1 i hope everybody knows bubble sort so it will compare like this is the left value greater than the right value if that is true then we will swap so that swapping we have to show what does it mean visualizing what does it mean visualizing the algorithm we have to use some color so that we'll get some distinction okay we are considering these two values now and these two are going to be swapped so visualization will be done with the help of colors okay you can also set uh, an option for having different colors if you want so all this is about your own creativity and you can add different different algorithms over here merge sort i will be doing bubble sort and merge sort okay and you can add even quick sort selection sort one more add on to this is you can also calculate the time complexity you can also do a graph using the matplotlib library in python there is a library called matplotlib you can draw a graph showing how the time complexity is varying with respect to the input how the time complexity is varying that also you can show that is an add on to this okay so first try all this see i'll give you like a understanding now see the gui will look something like this okay and here there will be a frame this is uh, i have named it options frame this green color thing you are seeing na and all these are widgets see this is button okay these two are buttons here and these are like scales like you can shift instead of having scale you can have entry box that means a user can input uh, what is the lower limit what is the upper limit basically between those values only you will have and one more important thing how are you going to generate every time a new array so to generate a new array every time if you want to generate a new array every time in python there is a function called i mean there is a library called random you can use random to generate different uh, values uh, at different instances so you can make use of the random library see these rectangles i am drawing here right i am just drawing randomly right so you can make use of random library to generate the rectangles how are you going to generate all that i want you to think by yourself for this one day at least and try it out by yourself i will definitely show in the second part how i have done it okay so again we'll see here uh if i click on current array okay so i'll see i'll make the array size as 5 i'll click on current array you can see five different arrays for example if i change lower limit to 8 now see you can see five not five different arrays five different values okay now if i see you can also set the sorting speed so in python like uh, you know you in all programming languages you will have delay function right you can delay and the reason why i have given this is because 
uh, you can then observe the visualization you can observe what the, the process that is happening okay and this is the combo box i was talking about see if i click here you can get uh, different options for now only bubble sort is there i'll just be showing one uh, algorithm now you can add more over here i'll also add merge sort and show you okay later and now if suppose i set it to two seconds that is it will take some time so now if i say start sorting see it will compare two values and it will swap it will show the swapping see 15 20 swap and uh, i don't know something happened over here maybe because i was keeping this program for too long so if you open the gui and keep it for too long this is the problem it will take some time but i hope you got an understanding right so don't uh, get uh, this thing scared like i can show you again so if i show you again over here see this array was already sorted and finally all uh, anyway all uh, other elements are sorted so if i say current array and i say start sorting so it will sort like this and final array will be in a full blue color you can give green black whatever you want okay and see on top of each rectangle the value is written what is the value so how are you going to design the rectangle how are you going to do the swapping so you need to write the bubble sort code and in the bubble sort code you need to incorporate this drawing rectangle part also so i'm giving you all hints only in this video in the next video i will be completely showing you the entire thing the gui part as well as the coding part so please try it out by yourself otherwise you'll just be like watching the uh, video and not doing it by yourself right so please do it i'll definitely show it to you tomorrow okay so this project is quite simple and very interesting also you can try it out and i hope you will be trying it out in the next video i will be doing the entire thing please share this video with all your friends as much as possible hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you have not yet please share it guys it will really help me until the next video take care stay safe keep learning keep growing stay tuned bye